This is part 2 of the Kinetic Sculptures series based on Nautilus Gears. In part 1, we looked at two such sculptures. In this part, we will continue to explore a few other interesting arrangements. The actuation and mounting scheme that I have been using did not appear very scalable. So I got back to the drawing board for a way to make things modular and therefore easy to scale. Here's what I came up with. Number one, a compound epicyclic gear train or a compound planetary gear set to reduce the speed and increase the torque in a compact form factor. Incidentally, this is something I already had with me as a leftover from building a robotic arm. Let's look at one of the sculptures before talking about the other changes. Nautilus Pair In this arrangement, the two Nautilus gears are mounted at fixed points separated by the sum of their pitch radii or the Nautilus distance. Now coming back to some of the other changes that I did. Number two, a parameterized version in Fusion 360 to easily generate frames with the desired number of gears. Number three, a scheme to have the center of these gears either tethered or untethered to the frame. Nautilus Triad. In this arrangement, three Nautilus gears are mounted at fixed points separated by the Nautilus distance. The center gear is the driving gear and the remaining two are the driven gears. The angle between the centers of the driving and the driven gears is 180 degrees. Nautilus Quad. In this arrangement, four Nautilus gears are mounted at fixed points separated by the Nautilus distance. The center gear is the driving gear and the remaining three are the driven gears. The angle between the centers of the driving and the driven gears is 120 degrees. Nautilus Quintet. In this arrangement, five Nautilus gears are mounted at fixed points separated by the Nautilus distance. The center gear is the driving gear and the remaining four are driven gears. The angle between the centers of the driving and the driven gears is 90 degrees. Nautilus Snowflake. In this arrangement, the Nautilus gears are mounted at fixed points separated by the Nautilus distance. The center gear is the driving gear and the remaining nine are driven gears. The angle between the centers of the driving and the first level of driven gears 
is 120 degrees. The angle between the centers of the first level driven gears and the second level of driven gears is also 120 degrees. Nautilus Bloom. In this arrangement, 13 Nautilus gears are mounted at fixed points separated by the Nautilus distance. The center gear is the driving gear and the remaining 12 are driven gears. The angle between the centers of the driving and the first level of driven gears is 90 degrees. The angle between the centers of the first level driven gears and the second level of driven gears is 120 degrees. Nautilus Butterfly. In this arrangement, three Nautilus gears are mounted around the driving gear. The driving gear is a top gear and all the gears are separated by the Nautilus distance. The center for the driving gear is fixed while the centers for the driven gears are untethered. Nautilus Star. In this arrangement, five Nautilus gears are mounted around the driving gear which is to the left of the picture. All the gears are separated by the Nautilus distance. The center for the gears on the left and right are fixed while the centers of the remaining four driven gears, two on the top and two at the bottom, are untethered. Alright, I guess that's all for now. Feel free to leave comments if you would like to give some feedback. Ciao for now, keep exploring and keep learning.